Yeah, I, I didn't want to be Trader Vic. I wanted to be Stanley Kubrick. I was in the movie business for a long, long time, and all the money I was making just went into my hobby, which was tropical drinks. It was a mid 20th century American pop culture phenomenon where they took actual Polynesian culture and they just sort of Disneyfied it a little bit, you know, and Hollywoodized it a little bit. I, no surprise it happened in LA. In fact, some of the best interiors, I mean, for all I know, the Bora Bora Room interior too, were designed by Hollywood art directors. You know, they, during the day, they did movie sets and they just did a little extra work on the side doing these Polynesian places, you know. And they were just completely self-contained environments. The, the best of them had no windows. You walk in and the, and the rest of the world is completely shut out and you're in this hermetically sealed little fantasy world. You know? What makes a great tiki drink is basically what makes a great Caribbean drink. Um, the Caribbean template has always been, you know, for the last 200 years, um, sweet, sour, strong, and weak. You know, the old planter's punch dog rule, one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak. Balance between those four things. Uh, a bad tiki drink is going to be what in the popular perception a tiki drink is, which is too sweet. Balance is the key. I mean, you, you need the uh, sour element to be amped up enough to counteract the sweet, to balance it out. Um, and the strong, whether it's rum or gin or, or what have you, needs to be present. Um, and even the weak is important. Um, how much dilution is very important. The best tiki drinks can hold their own against any other form of cocktail, pre-prohibition, Jerry Thomas type classics, whatever. When you make a tiki drink right, actually, you're doing something that I think is much more impressive than making a perfect Martinez or a perfect old fashioned. Yeah, a three ingredient cocktail, you can take a long time to master that, but how much longer is it gonna take you to master an eight or 12 ingredient cocktail, balance everything out, have that, um, that intensely layered amount of flavors all working in harmony together that's an actually much harder thing to do than to just do a classic pre-prohibition drink